Dorcas Kane and her brother Stephen have travelled to the barn from Birmingham with a cherished reminder of their parents' determination to make a new life in Britain. It needs Steve Fletcher's horology expertise. Hello. 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 How are we doing? Fine. Good, good okay? thank you. I'm very good. Can't Hello. complain. So what have you got for us then? Carefully wrapped up. Very well protected. This clock belonged to my parents, mm -hmm. um, Herman and Katura Brown. Yeah. Mum and Dad come from the sunny island of Antigua. Dad came in March of 1960 and Mum came in September. In the Caribbean, they grew up seeing the Queen, head of state, and they saw England as somewhere that they belonged. What was life like for them here? I think they came here with ideas of what they thought it was going to be. Yeah. And I think they were surprised to find what it actually was. Yeah. So when a lot of our Caribbean Windrush generation came here and were not welcomed in English congregations, um, they had no choice but to start their own because they wanted to continue to worship. So Dad became a church leader very soon after arriving in Birmingham, and he pastored a church for well over 40 years. They faced a lot of yeah. adversity. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're not welcome. Yeah. Mum and Dad, well, a lot of Caribbean people simply couldn't get yeah. Yeah. credit bank loans to furnish their houses. So they worked and they saved, mm -hmm. and the clock is one of the first items that they bought brought to furnish their room. They didn't have a house, it was a room. It used to chime on the hour. It would chime and we'd nod, Dad's coming on, but I'd go and wash the dishes, <laughs> that sort of thing. Or it was chime, it's time for bed. Or time for church. When, when was the last time you heard it chiming? I can hazard a guess. It's at least a quarter of a century since it's chimed. We really would like to hear the chime and to just remind us yeah. really of our days growing up in a house full of love. Well, thank you for bringing this in. All right? You're welcome. You guys take care. Thank now. you for having us. All right. No nice to thank meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Too. Nice to meet you. Thank All you. Right. Okay. Bye, bye bye. Take care now. Bye bye. This will be a massive honour to get this clock repaired, working properly. The case is really quite badly damaged. I'm going to have to ask Will if he will have a look at it and get it back to the condition that Dorcas would love. I'm always itching to get inside a, a clock mechanism. I do wonder what's gone on with this clock in the past. There may be something really simply wrong with it, a worn bearing or, or a bent lever, but I won't know that until I take it apart. I'm just gonna to have to strip it down and clean it all up.